comment and subscribe for more videos and streaming. Hey guys, Mikey Freako, and with a lot of people playing Warzone, and with some of the people that I play with that are quite astounded by some of the shots I can hit with certain guns, mainly like the MP5 iron sights and things like that, I just wanted to go through my settings and how to improve your aim yourself. So, the first thing you do is you find a controller that's comfortable for you. I personally have a scuff impact with four paddles on the back of it. So it's got trigger stops on it and that's all there is for my scuff. A lot of people I know use a standard PlayStation controller. So I'm not saying go out and buy a scuff, but if you've used scuffs before, I'd say buy one. But for this, I'll use a standard PlayStation controller just because I want to show that the scuff isn't needed. It's all in the practice and in muscle memory. The next thing you do is you find your settings. Now I play tactical because of my controller and because I squeeze my controller quite a bit when I'm in intense gunfights. So I'll go up and I'll end up pushing down on the left, the left stick, which will then cause me to do whatever I'm doing. So I set it to tactical and this button on the back here is also mapped to my right stick. So if I squeeze, I'll just drop shot and it makes it a lot easier. It's why I started playing tactical originally before I got a scuff. Then I changed back to default. Then recently I went back to tactical because I was meaning to drop shot instead of trying to knife the person in front of me. My sensitivity is a 5-5. It's just easier. This game is all about aiming, just like Cod Ghost War. And I don't know what aim response curve is, just try them all out and see which is the best one for you, but I seem to do well with dynamic. Control vibration off. Aim assist standard because I've always used aim assist. This one here, because I was going for camos, I made it so I double tapped L2 instead of, instead of just holding it or going up and pressing R3, whatever it was before. Weapon mount movement exit on because you want to be able to get off of there if you need to move, especially in Warzone. Aim down sight behavior. So this is for if you just click it or you hold it. So I've got it on hold as standard. Equipment behavior exactly the same. Tap to reload. Switch on weapon, right. This one is good if you completely run out of ammo. Slide hold. Auto move forward, no, I don't know what that one does. Automatic sprint, no, because there's a lot of things where you will sprint into a gunfight and because you're sprinting, you will fire slower than the guy that wasn't sprinting. Not sure about that. Leave that on, I'd say leave that on. That is a lot easier to leave on. <clears throat> These are my audio settings, I keep messing with them and I keep switching between boost low and boost high. It's all on your own preference. It is on your own preference. So this is what I use and I've got it as classic modern warfare hit markers because I miss the old games. Now you want to go into custom game which is found in the multiplayer menu. Private match trials and game battles, custom game. You're going to game setup and you want to choose free for all. It doesn't matter what map, preferably a small map, but you want to go in free for all. Game rules 10 minutes, unlimited time. Leave that as normal. Have this as radar always on, constant, and weapon pings on the minimap. Don't know why you'd need the weapon pings on the minimap because you've always got that on, but I've just set it to that just in case. Then with bot set up, you want to set it to 11 bots and I'd say recruit because you would use this as target practice. If you have a headset as well, I'd say wear a headset because it would make it a lot easier and you can also test out your audio settings at the same time. Then you go to pick a gun that you want to use. I This is my go-to MP5 setup, so I run this. This is what I use in multiplayer as well. So. You find a gun that you're comfortable with. It could always be like the MP7 or if you want to use the M4, run the M4. 
but I go with the MP5 because I can snap on targets with it. Sometimes I take that off and put that on to make it a bit faster, but it all depends really. So I'll run, I'll run what I would do, and to me, I'd say run it until you have, you run it until you have a nuke, or run it until the time limit is up, either or. Right, so what we'll do is, we'll run some kills of this, then we'll go to the comfortable option as well. Not to show the difference, just experimental reasons, because it's what's comfortable for me. Now, I'm not telling anyone to go spend a lot of money on a controller and a headset. I'm literally just telling people, use what you're comfortable with. And if you notice, in the middle of the crosshair, there's that dot. And it's the first time it's been in Call of Duty. That is the centering dot for your crosshairs. Well, this is all I run. I just have my radar on so I can see and just run around and do this. So remember, comfortable gun, comfortable controller, comfortable sensitivity, and yeah, run this for the full 10 minutes if you feel like you need to. Or just run it till you get a nuke, whatever's comfortable. I've been playing Call of Duty a lot earlier since everyone else, like a lot of people were siding COD 4, Modern Warfare 2. And I started in Black Ops 2. A lot of people started when they were in high school. I didn't. So this has all come from practice, watching tips videos, playing with people that are a lot better than me. Wow. <laughs> and just picking things up along the way. Now my one advice to you is if you play with people that are better with you, don't push yourself to chase them. Don't don't look at their stats, don't look at anything and think, I need to chase them, I need to be like them, because what they do would be a lot, would have a lot of different outcomes compared to what you would do. That would have been nice with a normal multiplayer. Now as you can see, my aim is a bit sloppy with a standard PlayStation controller. That's because of what I'm used to. Like, the sticks on this feel really stiff for me. I'd have to put on a lower sensitivity if I played with a standard PlayStation controller. I want it crowded out. Like, that is really loose for a 5-5 for me, but that's just me. Like, the thing with my controller is my sticks feel a lot stiffer. Like, they feel really stiff compared to this controller. So, let's switch controllers and go on another streak. We died just in time. Right. I also play with notifications off so I can always see my mini map. And that might sound weird to some people, but that is that is it, and I hate it when people are back in, in and out of parties because I can't see my map. Now a lot of people are like, oh I don't use my mini map. That's fair enough. I recommend using it though. As well as be able to hear footsteps if you can't... Oh, he nearly killed me. If you can't hear or see your enemy, that's a problem. Practice your aiming. Use use a headset. You can even... Like, if you own a PlayStation, you can plug headphones into the bottom of it. Like, standard iPhone headphones or something like that. Just plug headphones into the jack in the bottom of your controller. That would improve your gameplay a lot because you'll be able to hear where people are coming from. But yeah, this is literally just all about this. Listen for the footsteps, mess with your sound, sound settings if you need to. Always be looking at your radar so you know where they're coming from. Practice centering your gun on them. Remember your little dot in the middle because 
if you have that dot on them while you're hip firing, then it makes it a lot easier for you. Remember to always be looking at your radar. Yes, the radar doesn't really matter in this game, but trust me, when it comes to next year, and if you buy the new Call of Duty, it will help you, because you'll end up reverting the mini back, back to normal. I've got a feeling we'll do that, because this hasn't been settled well at all. If you want a bit of a challenge regarding your aim, don't put recruit bots on. Put harder bots on. Like, I play with mixed, personally, so then you've got... A bit of everything like you would in a normal multiplayer game. That is why people are coming out and strafing me. Because that's what people would do in a normal multiplayer game. We just come out and we just strafe around like that. Come around the corner. Get you. No, apparently I won't get you. Lucky bear with a collateral. He's literally just all of that. Pay attention to your surroundings. Your heads up display is your best friend in this game. If you play hardcore, it's a different story, but that is the best advice I can give anyone. So that'll do for this video. I hope it does help somebody. I'm not gonna be able to set my new cough. There we go. So I hope it helps somebody out. Because that's all that really matters to me. Remember, don't go chasing your friends. Go at your own pace. Do what you're doing. And, yeah, that is my recommendation to everyone. Use different guns as well. Find a gun that you're comfortable with or a gun that you struggle with. And push yourself to be better. I hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the Twitch in the description below. And I'll speak to you all later.